Hi everyone, my name's Steve from Clover FPV Systems and I fucked up. Okay, so pretty big news that SpeedyB's sales of the F405 AIO V3 has been trickling to a stop and then ceasing sales in the US. Apparently it's because of counterfeiting, LOL. Apparently there's also been a confusion about whether or not SpeedyB has completely halted sales in the US. And uh, according to this AI summary here, it's because uh, whiny Facebook weirdos who can't read decided to get more angry than they need to. That's hilarious. Was this written by Grok? For anyone who came to this channel for that news now or in the last video, I apologize that I don't have anything else to update you on except for that and I'm reading this info from their official statement. Here's the tea. Here's where I fucked up. When I made my last video about SpeedyB, I did not know that about their AIO board. The rest of this video is going to be about me. So if that bugs you, then like and subscribe. OK, so my company since about November 2024 specializes in making drones and FPV accessories centered around the idea of a highly modular, hard mounting, heavy duty, quick swapping camera cage. And in July, SpeedyB released a product that more or less copied that idea, but with just a few drones. I made a video addressing that, but I did it in a way that was supposed to sort of be like a in-group joke for people in the know. And I wasn't gonna use their name, but somewhere along the line, I wanted it to have more reach. So I used their name and those two ideas clash. So when I went straight into the joke of pitching my company line instead of addressing the drama, most people got the joke, but there was also a significant chunk of people who were embroiled in Speedy B's other drama who thought I was just making pure clickbait, which I would never do. Just half bait jokes about being a clickbait YouTuber that literally come off as being a clickbaiter. <laughs> My bad. Let me give you a better explanation of what happened since I kind of fumbled it when I made the other video. Here's the situation. In November, after about two years of working on this idea, the Clover Cage, and a line of FPV quick swap drones to go along with it, I was catapulted into the FPV limelight by a video made by Ken Heron featuring Joshua Bardwell. I launched and dropped my product in alignment with his video in November of 2024. Fast forward to July of this year and Speedy B releases a video about their new line of head swapping drones. That day and the days following, I get a bunch of text messages and tag comments about people going after them for copying me, which truly tickled me. I don't condone some of it, but you guys are crazy and I love you. But here's the thing, I'm not surprised. So because I'm launching a line of drone frames in a weight range that they don't have with capabilities for universal mounting that they don't have and an ecosystem of adaptations and three dimensional parts that they don't have, I decided to use the drama to get some attention and I made my previous video. It was meant to be like a jokey way of saying I don't care about being copied, but while I have your attention, Here's my product line and my mission statement. And a non-zero amount of people agreed that I didn't address the drama well enough. A few people were a bit dramatic about it, but I get it. The, the intro, setup, misdirection, then payoff format doesn't work if you're the type to be holding the shift key 30 seconds into the video. The payoff is at the end. And in the defense of those people, I could have set it up better by framing it with more evidence that there was an actual situation and I came short on that making videos is hard where it does get a little bit complicated is because I do hold a provisional patent on my design but here's the thing about that vigorous defense of a patent is extremely expensive we're talking like the low 20ks and into the hundreds of thousands of dollars for a case like mine and the best outcome is a cease and desist so best case I pay a bunch of money to stomp out my competition and not even be awarded anything. But I will say this for drama's sake, in simply looking for a lawyer, things got really predatory. These lawyers and law firms want two things, to win cases and get a payout from it, or to lose cases where they charge a passionate client a bunch of money. And in looking for that, I almost ended up owing a DOD lawyer a favor and I was like, I'm doing this on my own. But that's basically everything there is to the drama. They released a product that clearly has similar features to mine and I had to make some decisions about what to do about it. So do you kind of see why I went the pseudo clickbait route here? Because there's nothing here. 
Speedy B released a product similar to mine. If I don't make it dramatic, there's nothing here. Hence the... No! No! This is fun though. What else is dramatic? I want to address the idea that I'm making claims that I invented the idea of the removable BTX cage or that I act like I'm the only person to ever design something like this. And here's the thing. You guys are goddamn right I act like that. I mean, I like to think that I've worded things to allow for room for interpretation when it comes to things like worlds first, but it has clearly come off as if I think I'm the only person to do this. I am aware that I am not, and I am grateful to the people who did it ahead of me. I'm learning more and more every day about how true this is, and I always knew it to be true, and maybe a better approach rather than I'm the world's first would have been to say, I finally did it, guys guys, but hindsight is like COVID-19, 2020. What I really meant is I'm the world's first to design and bring to market a fully developed and supported line of drone frames that work with the quick swapping VTX with an ecosystem of 3D prints that allow you to mount it wherever you want. Shit, I'm adding again. But I just thought it would be impressive and groundbreaking and it was received to a large degree as Wannabe YouTuber makes incredibly bold claim in thumbnail for a video that I didn't watch. So like, you win some, you lose more. I mean, I think my videos are fun. And FPV and everything has been fun as shit. The braggadocia calms down in the upcoming videos, okay? I'm just like desperate for more people to experience this amazing hobby. I have a stockpile of videos that have been waiting to get edited while I stand the website and the manufacturing processes up. Admittedly, it's taking a while because, well, firstly, I'm bad at time, launching five drones and a VTX cage, building a website, running a print farm, and learning how to CNC, axing one drone from the line and adding two more has taken time. But it is very fulfilling, and despite the fact that I'm not very good at sending out email blasts yet, I have made a ton of improvements in my crafts, the designs, in video making, and website designing. I'm very proud of myself, and it's all for you guys. It wouldn't mean shit all if it weren't for my customers, you FPV maniacs. Those processes are in a much better place than they were at the beginning of the summer, so you can look forward to my next FPV Everything video where I show up to the spot FPVing myself. How do I look? Schlubby. and then I use a special mount for the Lucky to fly it in third person. It's a world first, nobody has ever done it but me. I took my 16th scale down to California and did a whole mountain bike course from top to bottom. It's a world's first, nobody has ever. I adapt the Clover Cage to a 124th scale car and world's first. I took my drones and a 124th scale to Hawaii, New York, and soon I'm going to Spain. And he's the first in the world. Shut up. I also FPV all of these cars here and I have big plans for future videos as well. As I build partnerships with brands and shops and bring the FPV everything mentality out into the world. The focus now, is to round out all of my tutorials and catalogs now that the lineup is more set in stone. And then I'll be editing all of my FPV vlogs as well as weekend flight vlogs, meetups, traveling, and more. If I haven't alienated you yet, uh, please consider supporting my journey on Patreon. And in return, you'll get all of my videos early, exclusive updates, and videos like this one, where I break down everything that goes into adapting the Clover Cage for hard mounting to your vehicle, as well as exclusive merch drops. It is the end of the video. And I just wanted to say thank you to all of my new watchers and to the people that called me out for not dishing the full story. Honestly, it was just laziness on my part to not address it properly. I just, I'm always forgetting like one little thing to like make everything. Ugh. And a quick shout out to the OG homies who went to bat for me in the comment section of the Speedy B ads. You didn't have to do that. Persist and be peaceful. Don't give in to hate. I'll be here for you in the next video. These videos where I sort of fake being dramatic and then just get to update you guys is sort of fun. Oh my God, I am a clickbait YouTuber.